Good morning fireflies, welcome back. We've got a new project that we're going to get started on today. Uh, I kind of hinted around with it in my last video. And so here it is. This has been a very time consuming project. I really didn't realize how much was going to be involved in this until I got going. But it's one of those projects that you can you can just keep adding and adding. And um, so yes, this has actually ended up being um, probably more time consuming than a lot of my journals. So what we're going to be doing is altering a file folder because I've got some of those left over and you're going to be able to use up some of your envelopes, uh, quite a few as a matter of fact. So let me just show you what this looks like. This is the front cover obviously and you've got a um, pocket here and I've just added a journal card with the leftover scraps. I've had um, a lot of scraps left over from this. I did a little frame here. The papers are my porch prints. It's the Botanical Wildflowers and the Among the Wildflowers kits. They complement each other beautifully. And then this is another tag I've got on the front there and I've just added a little charm, bulb pen. And then inside here, uh, these are some pr uh, digitals from Tracy's Seaside Studio on Etsy. Uh, Tracy was kind enough to send me a sample <clears throat> of the digital she's got in her shop. So I've backed these on uh, tea dyed paper so that it would be additional writing space and just made those tiny tags there. So I think you can start to see now how this can just grow and grow and grow. Um, so I think what we will do is I'm just going to get you started on the base of it and then you can decorate it and embellish it as much as you would like. I mean these are all envelopes and again you could just keep adding pockets to them but there's so many pockets already guys. Um, this little flip here has got another tag. What I loved about this was being able to use up some of my envelopes because um, as I said I'm trying to dwindle my stash down because I'm hoping that we are going to have a move in the very near future. And oh my gosh I've got to get rid of some of my supplies. This one this was supposed to be the tutorial I showed you guys. It was more of a process, it, not really a tutorial, just a process uh, video, and that was the one that I accidentally deleted. But this was some modeling paste that I stenciled on there. So that's tucked back here. Just a couple more things that um, I've made. To go in here. These are um, vellum pockets. So that's the front. Oops, actually, that goes down. And then this flips over. And then here we've got another pocket on the front with another large journal tag. And what I did on this, sorry, let me get that right. What I've done here is I've just glued this to create two pockets that hold two more tags. So there's, even though it's not a journal, there's a lot of writing space in this. Here we've got another large journal tag, uh, journaling card. And then here, this flips down so that you've got some writing space here. And then I just put a large coin envelope on this one to hold things. So 
so that goes back and then here this just flips over and again I've included a little slide just all sorts of little scraps and things another um, large pocket here with a tiny pocket here pocket here <laughs> I mean honestly you could add so many more I mean this could be cut down and another pocket you could add two more pockets here but it was just getting you know I mean I've spent almost a week on this already and I just thought I've got to stop um, this that was a, just a paper bag I had some left over and I thought oh I'll just back it you know just a great way to use up scraps two more little pockets here with a couple of the tags this was a uh, fairy book I purchased some time back I forgot about it and I just thought oh it matches um, this was I think the cornflower fairy and I thought it was so pretty I wanted to add that in here and then this was an envelope I had bought years ago and so I wanted to use that and I've made a large journaling tag here and again this is an image from the Among the Wildflower kit so that tucks in there and then this also is another bit of writing space up here. Let me let you see. Let's get that up a little bit higher, guys. So, uh, one of the payroll envelopes, a little pocket there, and then this holds another journal card so again you could carry on with more pockets there another stenciled tag and then this is a another journal card I made some more writing space here okay so that's the inside and now this flips over and this takes us to the back. Ah, I must do a tag for this. I'd forgotten that. So this will have a tag. That's a window envelope that I altered. More writing space here. I thought this would be a great place to either write or you could add a photo. And then again, we've got another pocket here with some tags. Another big journaling card here that I've backed so you can do some writing there and then that's a pocket in there and then over here another handmade card that I've backed so this is a little tuck spot this flips over got another pocket here I haven't added anything I probably won't um, I'll see um, if I do or not and then this is a little flip of a writing space here, writing space on the back. I've left this. Again, you could add three more pockets if you wanted. You could do so many things, but again, it's just getting too big. So I've got this flips down, so writing space here. And I've left this. In my mind, I was thinking you could add three good-sized photos to this. So this would be a great um, place to um, add photos and document a particular event, you know. So that's the back. I've got to add a journal card to this. But then you've also got, because this is a file folder, you've got another pocket here and on the front another pocket but it's pretty stuffed so I don't think that that is um, really going to hold anything you know some thin papers maybe but nothing very chunky because this is very very full as you can see 
So as I said, this has been a, gosh, almost a week I've been working on this uh, full time. And it's just crazy how much time goes into these. So let's just get started. I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. So I'll be right back. Good morning, Fireflies. Welcome back. We've got a new project that we're going to get started on today. Uh, I kind of hinted around with it in my last video. And so here it is. This has been a very time-consuming project. I really didn't realize how much was going to be involved in this until I got going. But it's one of those projects that you can, you can just keep adding and adding. And... Um, so yes, this has actually ended up being um, probably more time consuming than a lot of my journals. So what we're going to be doing is altering a file folder, because I've got some of those left over, and you're going to be able to use up some of your envelopes, uh, quite a few as a matter of fact. So let me just show you what this looks like. This is the front cover, obviously. And you've got a um, pocket here, and I've just added a journal card with the leftover scraps. I've had um, a lot of scraps left over from this. I did a little frame here. The papers are my porch prints. It's the botanical wildflowers and the among the wildflowers kits. They complement each other beautifully. And then this is another tag I've got on the front there, and I've just added a little charm, bulb pin. And then inside here, uh, these are some uh, digitals from Tracy's Seaside Studio on Etsy. Uh, Tracy was kind enough to send me a sample <clears throat> of the digital she's got in her shop. So I've backed these on uh, tea dyed paper so that it would be additional writing space and just made those tiny tags there. So I think you can start to see now how this can just grow and grow and grow. Um, so I think what we will do is I'm just going to get you started on the base of it and then you can decorate it and embellish it as much as you would like. I mean these are all envelopes and again you could just keep adding pockets to them but there's so many pockets already guys. Um, this little flip here has got another tag what I loved about this was being able to use up some of my envelopes because, um, as I said, I'm trying to dwindle my stash down because I'm hoping that we are going to have a move in the very near future. And, oh my gosh, I've got to get rid of some of my supplies. This one, this was supposed to be the tutorial I showed you guys. It was more of a process. It, not really a tutorial, just a process uh, video, and that was the one that I accidentally deleted. But this was some modeling paste that I stenciled on there. So that's tucked back here. Just a couple more things that um, I've made to go in here. These are um, vellum pockets. So that's the front. Oops, actually, that goes down. And then this flips over. And then here we've got another pocket on the front with another large journal tag. And what I did on this, sorry, let me get that right. what I've done here is I've just glued this to create two pockets that hold two more tags. So there's, even though it's not a journal, there's a lot of writing space in this. 
here we've got another large journal ta uh, journaling card and then here this flips down so that you've got some writing space here and then I just put a large coin envelope on this one to hold things so that goes back and then here this just flips over and again I've included a little slide just all sorts of little scraps and things another um, large pocket here with a tiny pocket here pocket here <laughs> I mean, honestly, you could add so many more. I mean, this could be cut down in another pocket. You could add two more pockets here, but it was just getting, you know, I mean, I've spent almost a week on this already, and I just thought I've got to stop. Um, this, that was a, just a paper bag. I had some left over, and I thought, oh, I'll just back it, you know. Just a great way to use up scraps. Two more little pockets here with a couple of the tags. This was a uh, fairy book I purchased some time back. I forgot about it. And I just thought, oh, it matches. Um, this was, I think, the Cornflower Fairy. And I thought it was so pretty. I wanted to add that in here. And then this was an envelope I had bought years ago. And so I wanted to use that. And I've made a large journaling tag here. And again, this is an image from the Among the Wildflower kit. So that tucks in there. And then this also is another bit of writing space up here. Let me let you see. Let's get that up a little bit higher, guys. So Uh, one of the payroll envelopes, a little pocket there, and then this holds some, another journal card. So again, you could carry on with more pockets there. Another stenciled tag, and then this is a, another journal card I made. Some more writing space here. Okay, so that's the inside. And now this flips over and this takes us to the back. Ah, I must do a tag for this. I'd forgotten that. So this will have a tag. That's a window envelope that I altered. More writing space here. I thought this would be a great place to either write or you could add a photo. And then again, we've got another pocket here with some tags. Another big journaling card here that I've backed, so you can do some writing there. And then that's a pocket in there. And then over here, another handmade card that I've backed. So this is a little tuck spot. This flips over. Got another pocket here. I haven't added anything. I probably won't. Um, I'll see um, if I do or not. And then this is a little flip of a writing space here, writing space on the back. I've left this. Again, you could add three more pockets if you wanted. You could do so many things, but again, it's just getting too big. So I've got this flips down, so writing space here. And I've left this, in my mind I was thinking you could add three good size photos to this. So this would be a great um, place to um, add photos and document a particular event, you know. So that's the back. I've got to add a journal card to this. But then you've also got, because this is a file folder, you've got another pocket here, 
and on the front another pocket, but it's pretty stuffed, so I don't think that that is um, really going to hold anything. You know, some thin papers maybe, but nothing very chunky because this is very, very full, as you can see. So as I said, this has been a, gosh, almost a week I've been working on this uh, full time. <laughs> And it's just crazy how much time goes into these. So let's just get started. I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. What we have got, you're going to need a file folder. I would not recommend the heavy file folders. Um, this is one I've managed to find that I had purchased from the Dollar Tree and that's a really good weight. Um, so anything that's, a, you know, I don't know about Walmart, what they carry, but look around and try to find the thinner because of all of the papers and everything, by the time you get done it's going to be too heavy if you use, and plus this is a bit more flexible. So. The other thing you're going to want is just get a selection of, of envelopes. I mean, I th I've i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And I believe that's what I've got in there, but bearing in mind, the more you add, the more work you're going to create for yourself um, because each one of these are going to have to be covered with paper and then on top of that you're going to be adding pockets. So it just depends on how much work you want to put into this as to um, how many you add. So the first thing you're going to do, and it does not matter where the tab is on this. This one happens to be in the center. It doesn't matter. It's fine. So fold that in the center. And then the first thing you want to do is get these edges glued. That way you've created that large pocket. And um, you could add a, a small journal in here. If you don't make this too bulky, you could do that. So go ahead now and glue this side. Just refer back to this one. So we're going to have an opening that way. So you're going to want to start from this side, and you will have to cut some of these envelopes down to make it work. Um, <clears throat> okay. So the first one I'm going to do. Is, let's see. These are some um, handmade paper envelopes I bought some time back, and I just haven't been using them like I thought I would. So, so see, I'm going to need to cut that down. You can see. So I'm going to take a bit of that off straight away. And I wouldn't worry too much about opening these up. So see, I need to go ahead and glue this to create a bottom. Now, if you're super organized and know ahead of time where you're going to want your pockets to be, then, I mean, like, if you know you're going to want this on the top, you could go ahead and cut that off now, but I am not 
going to do that. I'm just going to wait till the end. Um, what I did was covered all the papers and then I went back and decided just to snip a bit off here or here to create the pockets, but that's completely up to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this glued down. Well, I'll tell you what, before I glue it, let's just go ahead and kind of lay these in the order that we think we're going to have them. I want this to be on the front this time. So over here I'm going to have this one, which I'm going to have to cut that down because again that's too big, so I'm going to take some of that off right now. And I'll come back and, and glue these later. So I think this time I'm just going to put three in the front just to show you how to get this going. And as I said, you can just keep building and building. So I think that's going to look nice. In fact, what I would probably do is have that one down, that one, and then that one. So that it, gets a, it gives you a really nice layered look. So that's going to be the front. So let me just now go ahead. I, I like the way that looks. I'm just going to go ahead and get these glued down. It's been a very long time since I've um, done an altered file folder. Try this one. As per usual, I'm having issues with the glue again today. Oh. Yeah, as I was saying, it's it's been, gosh, probably a year, maybe, since I've done one of these. And uh, I forgot how much work they actually are, but they are a nice project. What's good about this project over a journal is I find it easier to walk away from this and do it in, you know, sections. I don't know why when I start a journal I really find it difficult to, um, to stop. I just tend to want to keep going with it. <laughs> but this is it's easy to walk away and put it to the side. Alright, so that one's down. Now this one, you're going to glue to the inside, the one that's flipping over from this. And then I'll explain to you how we're going to do the inside part. And don't worry about this, because this is going to all get covered with paper. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty with that, the window on the front there. Alright, so that's our front. We're going to flip it over. Let's go ahead and get the back done, and then we'll start working on the middle. Uh, section. That one 
I use inside. So I'm going to trim this down and make that one fit. And uh, some of these window envelopes I used but didn't leave the window and I just covered it up. But I've got so many of those, as you know, so that's another reason um, this is such a great project is I can start using these up. So I won't necessarily leave that window in all of them. I'll just use them where I need to. So I've got that down. Uh, let's see. This one, I'm going to go ahead and get this down. Now, you don't want to glue this on this side because it's going to... Well, you could do it, but I'm not going to because that's going to... Actually, you can because that's going to flip up. But some of them, <clears throat> I just glued them like a hinge. So just decide if it's starting if it's going to interfere with something on the front. That's why I personally think it's better to get all these glued first and then go back and add your papers. Now you, like I said, you may you may want to do that different, uh, but I personally think it's better. I'm going to go ahead and snip some of this off. This one. I don't know what color, what papers I'll end up using on this. I'll, I'm just going to show you guys how to make it. I'm not going to go through the decorating of this particular, because like I said, it, it would just take so, so long. But what I'll probably do is just sit this to the side and um, come back. But I don't know what I'm going to decorate this one in. Uh, I'll have to give some thought. Maybe I'll, I've purchased some new kits um, this week. So I might have to give some thought to maybe using one of them. Okay, so let's see. This is where we are at this point. And now let me just go ahead and add another. And just make sure you don't glue that over um, the front cover, just, just covering this side. So I'm going to get that down there. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll just sit, I'll get the base ready, and then I'll sit this to the side and come back to it um, maybe in the new year, because I've got several journals I'm, I'm getting ready to start on. I can't wait to show you guys um, some of the things I'm working on. Okay, so that so that's your back cover, so that's a really nice layered look. And, you know, this one I don't know. I'll, chances are I'll change my mind before. But this one, maybe I won't put as many envelopes in it and, and go ahead and make a, um, a small, very plain journal for extra writing is what I probably do with this one. But, you know, by the time I get around to it, I could change my mind. So this, as you can see, is a really big envelope. But... I want to use it in this because I've got no other use for it, to be honest. So I'm going to trim a bit off of here and here to make this work. Perfect. Okay. So now I think what I'll do is just add a little bit of glue. Um... Yeah, I'm going to glue it. Uh, I'll probably end up having to come back and, and open this up to make some pockets, but I don't know. So I'd just rather go ahead and do it now. Okay, so here we are. 
off. Now this is where gluing that to that side is not going to work because you can see it's larger than that. So what I do is just treat it like a hinge and, and butt it up as close to the um, edge as, as I can. And then that way that's going to flip over. Let's see how I'm doing on time, guys. And then I'm just going to do a few more because I want to show you a couple other things that you can do. Ooh, that's right on the edge. Ooh, shoot, I didn't see that. All right, I'm going to have to trim just a little bit more off of that. Yeah, that's better, because otherwise that wouldn't want to close very well. Okay, so the other thing... I've got another one for this side. Uh... I don't know. Think about that. So I've got this envelope here. Actually, that one's a little bit too big still. So the other thing we can do is have one coming up from the bottom and because there's nothing I'm going to cover this with paper I'm happy to glue that um, like that so that that will flip down okay On the inside, we'll have this, this, and then this will all be covered with the papers. So I think I would want something else over here. I like this long, skinny one. Because that really is going to look nice with all the different papers like that. So. Again, that's not going to work, so I'm going to have to glue this. To this envelope so that that's going to flip over. But I'm going to need to take a little bit of off. That'll flip over. Go ahead and glue that. Yeah, I'm going to put that one there so that that will flip over. And you could even have it like that. Yeah. 
So you can see it's just growing and growing. <laughs> and the next thing I would recommend you do before you put your papers down is um, distress all the edges. And I will go over that with you. I'll show you that really quick. All right, so that's that. And then this side, and then we will be done. So over here, I think what I'll do is just, this is one of those 9 by 6 I'm just going to fold this in half and have this one flip out. Bring that back. that that's not going to interfere with that. Yep, that's fine. Let me get that glued. this point this is going to flip over so we'll have three things we can either make pockets up here or here or um, or pockets on the outside I don't know we'll figure that out as as we go but it definitely gives you a good base to get get going with it and then this one uh, I won't bother with that one this time this one, I'm going to just have it opening that way. This is another one of those tall, skinny ones. I'm going to go ahead and get that down. I should have done one of these in Christmas papers, but uh, I didn't. Okay, so that's how that's looking, and then I think it would be nice to have one opening up here. Or from here, how about that? Let's do it that way. Because that would flip down. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll do that. So that you can see, it's totally different um, to the way I've arranged the others. But I think this is going to be cute. And this will be plenty to stay busy with. So that, that, that. And then that's going to cut. Okay. So this is how it's going to look, guys. So this, I'll probably, I'm going to leave the window on that for the front. I'll cover this. This will all be covered with paper. Same here. And then I can just add pockets on top of pockets. This will open up. This will all be covered in paper and 
probably some more. Like I said, I'll probably do a small, very plain journal just for additional writing. And then that's going to open. We'll have this, this, this. That closes, goes back. And then over here, this will flow down, over, out, out, and then this, and again, paper will cover that. So yeah, even though I've cut back on the envelopes, there's still going to be a lot of work involved. And then here, this will go over, 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 and cover this again. And additional pockets or belly band. Um, so yeah. So again, I'm very happy with this little project. So what I would re recommend grab, sorry, I got a bit of a mess here. At this point, I always take a sheet of paper because if you don't put something down, you're going to end up with lines. And even though you're going to cover um, this all with paper, with your designer paper or digitals, you don't want to have those lines in it. And the other thing, I just think it adds to it, is to take a stencil and along the edge, just add a little bit of stenciling, see? Because that way, um, some people might want to go all the way to the edge of the papers. I always like to have some left over like this. You can see a little bit of stencil there. Um, I'm trying to find some places that you can really see it. Here, I mean, I know I've done it. You Maybe you wouldn't notice it, but I just, for myself, I, I think it's a nicer way to finish it off. So, <clears throat> this is the envelope, and I've just layered so that's that's what it's going to end up looking like, guys, inside. And then, again, you're just going to keep building on that with however many pockets and flaps that you want to go with it. But uh, I would probably start with fewer because it, you know, I wouldn't get too, I wouldn't go too many if this is your first time because it's, um, you'll be surprised at how much work this is going to give you on covering that and adding everything and then of course you're, you've got to get your I'm going to go ahead and ink all around this window because my papers will just come up to the window I mean like this one I probably will leave that space as it is and just cover over here and maybe collage or something but yeah I wouldn't get it I wouldn't put too much to start and then you'll find out how much how much work you've got to do, but this is fine. Just go ahead and get all of your edges inked, and then like here, <clears throat> just keep putting your paper down so that you don't have those lines. And I would leave yourself enough of a border. I try to leave about a quarter of an inch border. That way you can come back and snip off if you're wanting to make this. Say, for example, you want to make this into a large pocket. You can just snip that. And it won't um, because you already have your papers down. I hope that makes sense. Now this one's already got it, which I will leave that and just make a giant journal card for that, I'm sure. And then it would be a nice place if somebody wants to add a good size photo. They've got that space um, to do so. But yeah, I really wish I would have done one of these in Christmas um, papers, but I just don't have time now. <laughs> Maybe in January I can revisit Christmas. You know how um, I never seem to be uh, on the same schedule as everybody else. It feels like I'm either doing Christmas months ahead of everybody or I'm way late so I don't know you know I just be well, you know I'm just that way <laughs> so I probably will do that um, maybe later in the year I can do a small one as a Christmas I think it'd be fun to add receipts to it and you know photos and just well it could almost be a December daily couldn't it because it just 
you'd end up with at least um, the month of December in spaces and particularly for somebody who doesn't journal a lot you could just do little short notes so I think that would be really cute as a December daily okay guys that is the project for this week if you've got any questions let me know um, in the comments below and I'll try to answer those I hope this has been um, you know pretty simple for you to follow along and I hope it's inspired you to grab some stuff and, and get busy with it Ugh, I've still ended up with three leftover envelopes but I will I don't know, maybe when I when I get around to finishing it off, I'll add them back in. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you all are safe and looking forward to the holiday. Okay, guys, sorry. my uh, I must have ran out of space. But anyways, I'll shut up now. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.